Hey everyone, I'm Nick, and welcome to version 2 of CUDA Crash Course. Now, in this episode of the series, we're going to be going over the basics of um, a Linux setup for working with CUDA. So, just like we did for the Windows setup, we're going to be on this uh, developer.nvidia.com slash CUDA downloads. So, a link is down below, and this is where we can get the CUDA toolkit, or one of the places where we can. So, just like we went through the setup of, say, you know, here's Windows x86 64, Windows 10, and I said that you could download an executable and just, you know, click on it and follow the on screen prompts to install the toolkit. You can do a very similar thing for Linux. Um, so, um, I'm on Ubuntu 18.04. So, in my case, um, I'm on an x86 machine, so an Intel machine. There's also support for IBM Power. So, I would go to x86 64, I'd pick my uh, distribution of Linux. So like I said, I'm on Ubuntu 18.04, and what I typically do is I'll download this run file. So these are command line instructions, so you'd run these from the command line. So I'd copy in, you know, wget, and then the address, and so this just downloads this um, CUDA 10.1 um, linux.run file. And then you just execute this run file, right, and that will begin the installation of the toolkit. So we'll be prompted for some things, uh, just like you would be in the, lin in the uh, Windows version. Um, another alternative you have to, say, downloading this from the NVIDIA CUDA website is your package manager uh, may, may have um, a version available for you to download. So I can go ahead and just do sudo apt get install and then NVIDIA uh, dash CUDA dash toolkit right, to install the CUDA toolkit. And it'll say, you know, you've got some, you know, how much space it takes up, so 795 megabytes. So you have to imagine this includes things like the compiler, it includes some samples, it also includes um, things like Kurand and Kubloss, all those optimized libraries. So it may take a little bit while to uh, a little while to download, but after we do this, um, we can get up and running with uh, CUDA development inside of Linux. So now I should have everything here. So I should have NVCC, and I could say NVCC uh, NVCC dash dash version. And you see that it gave me CUDA 9.1, so it may not be the most recent um, version of CUDA, but it's an easy way to set things up if you don't want to, say, go through the process of downloading that run file. And you just want to do it you know, quickly from the command line, um, just using the package manager. So it is an option. So you know, how are we going to, you know, say, do our first example of a CUDA program? So um, let's go ahead and just do that real quick. So we'll call this maybe test.cu, so cu um, file extension for CUDA file. So I can just say this is a sample CUDA program. And then inside of here, I can just have a main function. And then it, just like we did kind of in the, in the uh, Linux, and, or uh, sorry, in the Windows environment, I, I had a you know, pointer A, and then I did something like called CUDA malloc. So allocating memory, and then I say, you know, I want to allocate a, you know, say 10 bytes. And then after that, I can just go ahead and free a. So I can just call CUDA free and pass that pointer a and then return zero at the very bottom. So a very simple, very plain CUDA program. Doesn't really do anything other than allocating in free on my GPU. But we can just go ahead and test to see that everything's working. So I can call NVCC on test.cu. Right, and then dash O, just call the output file test so everything looks like it compiled properly. So I've got my executable test here. And then I can run test. It won't do anything exciting because all it does is allocate in free memory. But I can also use something like NVIDIA Profiler, NVProf, and run test. And we can see that it is indeed doing something GPU related. So we're profiling the application test, and you can see how long it took to call CUDA malloc, how long it took to call, say, CUDA free. Right. So it is actually doing things relating to you know, CUDA programming and uh, doing stuff with the GPU. So it is allocating the memory and freeing the memory. And there's also some extra things that just have to go on as far as you know making kind of initial contact with the device and setting up a context. All right, so that's going to be the basics of kind of a, a Linux setup um, for CUDA development. So I'll go ahead and, and again, I'll link this uh, CUDA Toolkit website where you can download it. Or you can just follow the kind of path that I did. Um, with just using the package manager um, for any of the other things. Uh, so all the code or a lot of the code for the series is already online at github.com slash coffee before arch. So you can go here and go to CUDA programming and you can see all the different samples of code that were in um, version one of this series if you want to kind of get ahead. Um, 
but a lot of the later episodes um, within this CUDA Crash Course V2 series, um, they'll be based upon the examples from V1, just kind of updated and given a facelift. And a lot of them will be done inside of the uh, Linux environment. But again, if you want to see something that maybe you don't understand in the Windows environment, you're more than welcome to uh, ask for it, and I can, I can probably provide that. But that's going to do it for today. As always, I'm Nick, and I hope you have a nice day.